the Bhagavad Gita. Gita Press, 38th reprint, 2007. Chapter 17. Arjuna said, Those endowed with faith who worship gods and others, disregarding the instructions of the scriptures, where do they stand, Krishna? In sattva, rajas, or tamas? Sri Bhagavan said, That untutored, innate faith of men is of three kinds, sattvika, Rajasika and Tamasika. Hear of it from me. The faith of all men confirms to their mental disposition, Arjuna. Faith constitutes a man. Whatever the nature of his faith, verily he is that. Men of Sattvika disposition worship gods. Those of Rajasika temperament worship demigods, the demons, while others who are of Tamasika disposition worship the spirits of the dead and ghosts. Men who practice severe penance of an arbitrary type, not sanctioned by the scriptures, and who are full of hypocrisy and egotism, and are obsessed with desire, attachment, and pride of power, and who emaciate the elements constituting their body as well as me, the Supreme Spirit, dwelling in their heart, know those senseless people to have a demonic disposition. Food also, which is agreeable to different men according to their innate disposition, is of three kinds, and likewise, sacrifice, penance, and charity too are of three kinds each. Hear their distinction as follows. Foods which promote longevity, intelligence, vigor, health, happiness, and cheerfulness, and which are juicy, succulent, substantial, and naturally agreeable, are liked by men of sattvika, nature. Foods which are bitter, sour, salty, overhot, pungent, dry, and burning, and which cause suffering, grief, and sickness are dear to the Rajasika. Food which is ill-cooked or not fully ripe, insipid, putrid, stale, and polluted, and which is impure too, is dear to men of Tamasika disposition. The sacrifice which is offered as ordained by scriptural injunctions by men who expect no return and who believe that such sacrifices must be performed is satvika in character. That sacrifice, however, which is offered for the sake of mere show or even with an eye to its fruit, know it to be rajasika, Arjuna. A sacrifice which is not in conformity with scriptural injunctions, in which no food is offered and no sacrificial fees are paid, which is without sacred chant of hymns and devoid of faith, is said to be tamasika. Worship of gods, the brahmanas, one's guru, elders, and wise men, Purity, straightforwardness, continence, and nonviolence. These are called penance of the body. Words which cause no annoyance to others and are truthful, agreeable, and beneficial, as well as the study of the Vedas and other Shastras and the practice of the chanting of the divine name. This is known as penance of speech. Cheerfulness of mind, placidity, habit of contemplation on God, control of the mind and perfect purity of inner feelings. All this is called austerity of the mind. 
This threefold penance performed with supreme faith by yogis expecting no return is called sattvika. The austerity which is performed for the sake of renown, honor or adoration, as well as for any other selfish gain, either in all sincerity or by way of ostentation, and yields an uncertain and momentary fruit, has been spoken of here as Rajasika. Penance, which is resorted to out of foolish notion and is accompanied by self-mortification or is intended to harm others, such penance has been declared as tamasika, a gift which is bestowed with a sense of duty on one from whom no return is expected at appropriate time and place, and to a deserving person, that gift has been declared as sattvika. A gift which is bestowed in a grudging spirit and with the object of getting a service in return or in the hope of obtaining a reward is called rajasika. A gift which is made without good grace and in a disdainful spirit, out of time and place, and to undeserving persons is said to be tamasika. Om, tat, and sat. This has been declared as the triple appellation of Brahma, who is truth, consciousness, and bliss. By that were the Brahmanas and the Vedas, as well as sacrifices created at the cosmic dawn. Therefore, acts of sacrifice, charity, and austerity, as enjoined by sacred precepts, are always commenced by noble persons used to the recitation of Vedic chants with the invocation of the divine name Om. With the idea that all this belongs to God, who is denoted by the appellation Tat, acts of sacrifice and austerity, as well as acts of charity of various kinds, are performed by the seekers of liberation, expecting no return for them. The name of God, Sat, is used in the sense of reality and goodness, and the word Sat is also used in the sense of praiseworthy, auspicious action, Arjuna and steadfastness in sacrifice, austerity, and charity is likewise spoken of as sat, and action for the sake of God is verily termed as sat. An oblation which is offered, a gift which is given, an austerity practiced, and whatever good deed is performed, if it is without faith, it is termed as not, Therefore, it is of no avail here or hereafter. Thus, in the Upanishad sung by the Lord, the science of Brahma, the scripture of yoga, the dialogue between Sri Krishna and Arjuna ends the 17th chapter entitled, The Yoga of the Division of the Threefold Faith. Next up, Chapter 18, entitled, The Yoga of Liberation Through the Path of Knowledge and Self-Surrender.